everyone, my name is Jennifer DeCesare with Ezra Canada and today I'll be walking you through two options for setting default folder and database connections in ArcGIS Pro. For those of you who are new to ArcGIS Pro, whether you're new to the Esri software or migrating from ArcMap, you might notice that your connections in the catalog pane are not automatically remembered when opening a new project. ArcGIS Pro does have options to manage and remember these connections, but it will use a different workflow for those of you who've previously used ArcMap. So let's go take a look. So you can see that I have already made my folder and my database connections in this project. So I now want to share this as a project template so that my connections will display each time I open the template as a new project in ArcGIS Pro. So this can be configured via the Share tab using the Project Template option. So this will create a customized starting state for ArcGIS Pro and can be shared to your ArcGIS online organization, portal for ArcGIS, or saved locally. So over here in the Create Project Template pane, we have a couple options that we can set for the template. So first, we'll need to choose if we'd like to upload the template to our portal or save it to a file. So in this case, I'm going to upload my project template to my ArcGIS online portal. One thing to keep in mind when you're sharing these project templates with users that are on other computers is to use common shared network folders, databases, or servers that other users will also have access to. So let's go ahead and give our template a name. So let's say that I need to upload this for users in a certain department. So let's say this needs to go for our public works department. So we'll call this our public works project template. We also need to add a summary as well as tags. And we'll give it a good tag that the public works users can also search on. Okay, so down here we also have some additional options. And the first is the option to share outside of the organization. So this is often used when you're sharing a project template with specific data sets inside of it that you would also want to share. Any enterprise databases or UNC path data are then copied to a file geodatabase for distribution within the template. Since this option is used to share data with people that wouldn't necessarily have access to your folder or database connections, these connections are then stripped from the shared template. So for this reason, we will not be sharing outside of the organization. You also have the option to include toolboxes. So this would include all of your project toolboxes as well as the data referenced by the tools. You can also choose to include history items. So this would package up all of your geoprocessing history items in the template, as well as the data required to re-execute them. If I scroll down, down here in the location section, we can choose a folder in our ArcGIS online account to save the template to. By default, that template is stored in the root of your My Content section on ArcGIS online. So we'll go ahead and just leave this blank and use the default. Down here in the share with section, we can choose the sharing permissions. So for now, I'm just gonna choose to share with everyone. And then the last step is to analyze to ensure that our project template has no errors. Once all of your errors have been corrected and the template is validated, we can go ahead and create the template. So depending on how many connections have been made and the amount of data in that template, this could take anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes. So this is really quick because we only had those two connections in this template. So we'll go ahead and we'll just open another instance of ArcGIS Pro now so that we can view that newly created template and create a new project. So at the bottom of the screen here, we can choose this select another project template. If I click this, the portal that's registered with Pro then pops up with the My Content section highlighted. And this was that default folder that our template was written to. Here's our Public Works project template that we just created. So if I go ahead and open that and create a new project, you can see over here that in the catalog pane, I now have my folder and my database connections already set. So this workflow is a really great option if you have different teams that will require their own customized set of folder and database connections. And the other great thing is it really reduces the clutter of unnecessary connections and provides an organized and easy to use template for the end user, which is especially great for users who are not highly technical GIS people. So now that we've explored the project templates, let's look at an alternative option, which uses project favorites. 
So project favorites are basically a collection of frequently used folder, database, and server connections. These favorites are recorded in your roaming profile on the local network and are specific to your user. So configuring these is quite simple. You just have to right click a folder connection and choose add to favorites. You can do the same with a database connection or a server connection as well. So now if we go up and open this favorites tab, we can see that our connections have been saved here. The folder and database connections will now persist in this favorites tab each time that we open ArcGIS Pro, even for a new project. So using this favorites option is really great if you simply want to configure your own list of frequently used connections that will display each time you launch ArcGIS Pro. So that's it for this video, folks. I hope that these two configurations will help you GISers in your day-to-day -day workflows in ArcGIS Pro. Thanks for tuning in.